a beautiful good afternoon uh, this is mr panuka coming live from panuka farm and uh, today we want to just quickly show you uh, how sweet pepper that uh, we are growing in the shed net is doing uh, compared to the greenhouses i think we've uh, shown you how you know the peppers that are in the greenhouses are growing so far and um, previously i think we did uh, present uh, the efficacy of the greenhouse versus um, shed net so where we are here this is uh, a 40 meter by 10 meter uh, shed net uh, we call this shed net one here uh, in terms of our coding uh, so that's uh, 400 square meter uh, so we'll get in there so that you actually see how the pepper is is, is doing um, and of course across there that's uh, you know a complex of our greenhouses we also have pepper uh, in there so we'll actually be doing another video uh, right there so that you just see how the pepper is doing so for now let's uh, get into this uh, 400 square uh, meter uh, shed net so we have uh, some sweet pepper in here uh, which was transplanted on the uh, 18th of september uh, 2020 so just about uh, four heading to five months uh, old okay so we have about 2300 uh, you know uh, plants in here so let's get in there so here we are this is how 2300 you know uh, plants look and um, this is what a shed net can actually do uh, we had actually wanted to be harvesting this as uh, green uh, but given that it's actually doing quite well we are actually harvesting um, the peppers from here as um, uh, red so what you can actually see here is that these peppers have actually grown quite well um, like we have indicated previously we used to grow these peppers maximum of about a meter quite dwarfish but I think with this one, we've actually upped our game in terms of uh, crop management. Uh, you can actually see that uh, it's weed free. Okay, that's another critical uh, you know, issue in terms of production. Um, and also trellising, uh, fruit balancing. Uh, so all those critical facets in terms of uh, sweet pepper production, you can actually see we've come up with quite um, a very good crop in a shed net so this is not a greenhouse but a shed net but look at um, the size of fruits and just the general quality of uh, the pepper so this is already over a meter it's actually heading to about two meters um, though we planted uh, different varieties in here so some are a bit taller the other ones are a bit dwarfish but generally they're all doing quite well So it's another encouragement to you that uh, even if you don't have adequate funds for a greenhouse, because it's quite expensive, um, you can actually still uh, construct a shed net and you'll still come up with some very good uh, sweet pepper. Okay, so again, the dimensions of this uh, shed net is 40 meters uh, in length uh, and then with it is 10 uh, meters. So that gives you 400 square meters. That's quite big by any standards. Uh, and uh, we've been able to accommodate about 2,300 uh, plants in here. Okay. So previously we've actually shown you how this structure uh, was put together. And proudly it was actually put together by our team. Um, apparently those that have actually followed Panuka Farm will actually remember that this actually used to be a greenhouse. We had plastic on top. Uh, but we had a DIY you know, uh, greenhouse. And looks like we got the span a bit too wide, 10 meters, and that greenhouse, uh, upon first, you know, rains, it collapsed on us. So, again, all we did was to just remove the debris and converted this into a shed net, had to put this uh, green net on top. And uh, it's actually turned out quite a blessing. We still able to produce uh, very good uh, peppers in here, uh, despite that we had that you know setback if you call it okay so you can actually see even the fruit quality very good quite comparable actually to uh the production that we have in the greenhouse 
though the difference is actually quite notable uh, if you watch our review videos. So look at the red, you know, very good, uh, sizable uh, fruits. Look at these blocky, you know, green fruits. Lovely by any standards. We're loving this. Um, so you actually see that um, um, a shed net can actually be quite a very good, uh, you know, production house for uh, sweet pepper if well taken care of. So these are the peppers from this end. So what we have here is a combination of um, rags one, you know, varieties. Uh, we also have Duke uh, by Stuckeyes. So in here we actually did a combination to just try and um, have, you know, same, you know, production environment so that we actually compare the efficacy of different varieties uh, in uh, uh, a shed net. So those that read our article yesterday about action research, this is what we talk about uh, action research. Um, yes, you can actually read about these varieties, but then you need to test them on your soils so that you see how well they respond on your soils and then make your own uh, conclusions. Um, so that's very, very important. Okay. All right, folks. So I hope uh, this gives you a very good... Um, you know, appreciation on the efficacy of um, uh, a shed net. Don't underrate it. Uh, if you actually take care of the uh, sweet pepper in a shed net, you actually have a very uh, decent uh, harvest. So go for it. Uh, you just have to be innovative. It's not always that you have to have a, a greenhouse to produce some of these uh, crops. So yes, we've got quite a number of greenhouses, but we still do try out different production systems as a way of uh, lowering the production costs. Okay. So there you go. So once again, this is a 40 meter by uh, 10 meter, you know, uh, shed net. Uh, so on the sides, we have this white net, the same that we actually use for the greenhouses. But then at the roof, we have this green Net quite strong it is. This is uh, about two years, but then still quite intact. Okay, so if you've got some resourceful teams, you know, on the farm, they can actually put this together. Just get some round poles like we have there, uh, and then tie some wires there. Put your net, and then you're good to go. It doesn't need to be that complicated. Okay. All right. So this is Mr. Panuka uh, from Panuka Farm Shed Net One uh, signing out. Have a lovely evening uh, for us. We actually continue to just um, enjoy the greenery and uh, um, just the beauty of uh, the, the fruits. So have a lovely one. Bye-bye.